It was a costly battle. So many voices of the Force are now but echoes in the void. Their spirits have departed but are not lost, Master Windu. They have become one with the Force. Their presence will surely be missed, Master Mundi. We need all the strength we can muster now. War is upon us. We knew this day would come. Violence rolls as a never-ending tide, and it is rising once again. And so we lead the Republic's clone army into battle. Lest the galaxy be swallowed up in this tide. You take issue with our new role in the Republic? The Jedi have always been the champions of peace for the galaxy. We protect life above all else. I suppose sometimes that means becoming a sword instead of a shield. Now we add General alongside Master to our list of titles. I tell myself it is easier to lead the Republic down the right path from the front of the battle lines. To be an example. As we have always strived to do. To do so, even we, Jedi Masters, must vacate our seats now and again. Ah, a shame. I find those chairs to be quite comfortable. To the pursuit of peace. To the sacrifice of the fallen. To put your mind at ease is to place the galaxy in steady hands. Thank you for finding the time to speak with me, my friend. Excuse me, Masters. They are ready for you now. Master Windu, member of this Jedi Council you are. Know how dire our current situation is, you do. War seeks to tear our Republic asunder. We must prevent it at all costs, Master Yoda. Indeed, but diminished our numbers are. We all must take the burden of leadership. Your mission we present to you now. Day by day, grow the Separatist numbers do. Their reach extends farther and farther to the Outer Rim. Power flows in concentric circles. Establish a foothold in the Outer Rim before moving inward toward the capital. One of those footholds appears to be in the jungle planet of Hisrich. A large number of Separatist vehicles have made planetfall there in recent days. You will lead a small unit to monitor the Separatists' movements and determine what their purpose is. Due to the clandestine nature of this mission and our thinly stretched resources, we cannot offer you a clone squadron for support. The Jedi have trained our whole lives for missions like this. We will make do. We understand you have already selected those who will accompany you on this mission. I have. Fellow Council Member Kit Fisto. He fought bravely by my side on Geonosis. And I can think of no one I trust more to go into battle with me. His skills with a lightsaber are unrivaled, and as a Nautilin, his aptitude for surviving in harsh environments will prove invaluable. Proset Dibs. His lack of physical sight has gifted him great intuition. He is as in tune with the Force as any Jedi I have known. He will provide valuable insight and reconnaissance for this mission. Rissa Mano. A pilot rivaling the skills of Master Plo Koon himself. She may be young in a recent addition to the rank of Jedi Knight, but her mind for engineering and her potential in battle far exceeds someone of her age. We are ready to set out as soon as it pleases the Council. And may the Force guide us all. Master Windu, I find a word before your journey. Troubled, you see, my friend. Care to lighten your burden, hmm? These are troubling times. Doubt clouds my mind. Although, I am loath to admit it. Doubt not the ways of the Force. It teaches us at times. But believe it will lead us where we are meant to be, we must. Similarly, doubt not yourself. You are a wise and capable leader. Too many lives were lost on Geonosis. Too many flames extinguished. How can I ask more men to follow behind me to the slaughter? How many more will die if you do not? All the more reason we must fight. 
understand your thoughts, I do. But give in to them? You must not. Trust in the Force. Trust in yourself. As trust in you, I do as well. Thank you, Master Yoda. I will not fail you. The West Wind is the fastest transport ship this side of Corellia, thanks to a few personal modifications made in my spare time. We should arrive at Histrich in no time, Master Windu. Thank you, Rissa. And because you're so nice, I'll scramble our signal, masking our grand entrance to the target location. Excellent. The Separatists cannot know we're coming. Stealth. Love it. Wake up, Rosette. We near our destination. Eyes as big as moons, and yet you see so little, Master Fisto. Your wit precedes you. I'm looking forward to working alongside you on this mission. There is nothing about this mission I'm looking forward to. The Force, it shudders. War is no place for a Jedi. And yet, we call ourselves Jedi Knights. We are exactly where we are meant to be. We're about to make planet fall on history. This is not a well-documented planet. We must be ready for opposition from the local fauna, as well as the droid army we are here to monitor. The planet is in a state of near perpetual dark, only gathering light from a distant sun for about one hour per monthly cycle. How fortuitous. That darkness shall be our ally. Precisely. This is a covert operation. We discover what the Separatist interests are on the planet, and then we shut them down. Exiting hyperspace, we've arrived. Now it's time to change into your new mission attire. It will help regulate body temperature on the humid surface below, as well as blend with the darkness to our advantage. Still yourselves, Jedi. Our mission begins now. It's beautiful here. Too bad I have no one to share it with. Scans show the droid outpost is a few clicks due west of our current location. We will stick to the ground. Let the flora act as our cover. We know not what to expect here. Stay sharp. Be safe. Proceed. A word. Master Windu, before you say anything, I must apologize for earlier. I meant no disrespect. I've been told I have a great mind. My only downfall is I have the tendency to speak it. Often and out of turn. Yes, those as well. But if you'll lend me an ear? I'm uncertain if I will get it back. But continue. I feel an unease in the Force. All of our teachings and our beliefs are being tested. I find myself unsure of the steps in front of me. I sense you feel it as well. War breeds confusion. We must hold the teachings you mentioned close to our hearts. Some of those teachings include combat, because at times, that is necessary. And as for the beliefs, Master Yoda tells us, to believe in the Force and in ourselves. You will find the path you are on to be the right one. I can't believe I'm on a mission with Master Windu himself. He is an exemplary figure of the Jedi principles. He's... he's incredible. I have studied his teachings since I was a youngling. His style of lightsaber combat has been the foundation for my own. He's a top five Jedi Master of all time for sure. And where do I fall on this great Jedi list? Oh, you're top 20 to 30 to be sure, Master Fisto. Nothing to be ashamed of. Your comfort in light of this revelation is much appreciated, Rissa. Quiet. Get low. Patrol squadron. A few battle droids. And an Octopotera. Such a meager welcoming party. I'm insulted. We hit them fast, and we hit them hard. Master Fisto, proceed. Above and around. Rissa with me. Ah, I hate patrol duty. I'm so bored. Nothing ever happens. Don't say that. 
Now you've jinxed us, you've doomed us all! The only thing we're doomed to is the life of the film. I want some action. Um, what is that? So much for stealth. A time and place for everything, young Jedi. Right now is neither. Short circuit, Jedi! Ah, see what you've done? Fire! <laughs> Don't just stand there. Open fire. Kill the Jedi. I take my resistance to combat. As ineptitude. Thanks for the assist. Guess that's what I get for not having eyes in the front or back of my head. I take it you have a very large repertoire of eye-related humor. Deeper than the Jedi archives themselves. I'm just getting started. Good work, team. This is just a small group. We can expect heavier resistance the closer we get to the compound. Shouldn't be an issue. Scrapping clankers is our specialty. Keeping peace is our specialty. Scrapping clankers is an upside of... You sense that too? On all sides, it would seem our skirmish is not yet resolved. Oh my stars. This isn't good. I've gotta warn the commander. Sector 209. How many times must I tell you not to call me? Jedi, here? Oh, my stars. That's what I said. What are we gonna do, Commander? Do not call me. Just hand it over. Like your pre programmed drones, the Jedi are slaves to their doctrine. A childish adherence to their force. Fascinating what folly organics place their faith in. I, on the other hand, only believe in the highest power. The one true ruler of the galaxy. You mean like, like some sort of god or something? No, more powerful than any god. Credits. <laughs> <laughs>